Section three is titled Analyze Units in Your Book, but I call it Conversion Factors. We're going to take measurements and convert them. So a conversion factor is a ratio of equal quantities in different units. For example, one hour and 60 minutes are the same thing. They're just written one over 60 with their labels. But that's just the same thing. That's something divided by itself. It's one in disguise. So let me show you how this works. The average American eats 23 pounds of pizza annually. Okay, so I was just told that the average person eats 23 pounds of pizza in one year. I'm asked how many ounces of pizza is this? Right now I have pounds in a year. I'm asked for ounces in a year. That means I have to change pounds into ounces, which means I'm going to multiply this by another fraction. Just one fraction, I'm changing pounds to ounces. I only need one fraction to do this. Now, we're changing pounds to ounces, which means this new fraction is gonna have pounds and ounces in it. I want pounds to cancel, which means I want the unit for pounds on the bottom. I want pounds on top and pounds on bottom so that they cancel. What number relates ounces to pounds? And you may not know this off the top of your head, and that's okay, you can look it up. There are 16 ounces in one pound. What we've done here is essentially taken the original ratio and multiplied it by one because 16 ounces and one pound are the same thing. Anything divided by itself is one. Realistically, the numbers are gonna change and that's okay. The unit pounds cancels out, not the numbers, the unit. Leaving me with ounces for my unit on top and years for my unit on the bottom, and that's fine. We're gonna have a number of ounces and a number of years. The denominator is actually easy. It's one times one as far as the numbers go, so it's one year. The ounces, we have to do 23 times 16. You are still allowed to use a calculator. 23 times 16 is 368. The average person eats 368 ounces of pizza in one year. A car travels 990 feet down a road in 15 seconds. How many miles per hour was the car traveling? And then we're told how many feet there are in a mile. So let's start with what I was told. A car travels 990 feet in 15 seconds. And I'm asked for miles per hour. That means I have to change both feet and seconds. I will need one fraction for each. I'm gonna start with feet. I wanna change feet to miles. Because feet were in the numerator, to cancel the unit, it has to go in the denominator, which means miles will go to the numerator. And we are told here that 5,280 feet in one mile. So there's 5,280 feet in one mile. I have to change seconds to hours. Seconds were in the denominator, so to make them cancel, they'll have to go to the numerator. So seconds will go in the numerator, hours will go in the denominator. The question is how many seconds are there in an hour? And you may be saying, I don't know that, Mr. Noy. That's okay. This is easy to figure out, and I'll walk you through it once. I strongly suggest you memorize the number. We know there are 60 seconds in a minute, 
and there are 60 minutes in an hour. So there are 60 times 60 seconds in an hour. 60 times 60, we can just take the two zeros, set them aside for a second. 6 times 6 is 36. Take our two zeros and put them back on. 60 times 60 is 3,600 seconds in one hour. I strongly suggest you memorize that. It's a very useful number to have. So if I do all this multiplication, I'll get myself a fraction. We will note that feet and feet cancel. Seconds and seconds cancel. Okay, we could simplify these numbers, but I'm allowing you to use a calculator for this section because I'm more interested in your ability to set the problems up. I don't want you taking five more minutes to do the problem. So in the numerator, we're gonna have 990 times 3,600. The one's kind of irrelevant. So that is 3 million 564,000 miles in, the denominator is 15 times 5,280 times 1, that is 79,200 hours. I'm not asked how many miles the car travels in 79,200 hours, I'm asked how many miles per hour. That means I need to take this one step further. I have to actually divide these. I have to turn this into a unit rate. So I will take 3,564,000 and divide by 79,200 and I get a perfect 45 miles per hour. A strobe light can be used to measure speed. The lamp flashes every one one thousandth of a second. A camera records an object moving 7.5 centimeters between flashes. How fast is this object moving in meters per second? Okay, so what we're told is that it moves 7.5 centimeters in one flash. Each flash is one one thousandth of a second. So I'm going to rewrite one one thousandth as the decimal version 0 0.001. And I'm only doing that because it's going to be easier to deal with in the long run than having multiple fractions. So this is what we know. We're asked, how fast is it moving in meters per second? Well, I have seconds, so I've only got to change centimeters to meters. Centimeters will need to go on the bottom, meters on top. If you don't remember from sixth grade, or you're in honors and we didn't do this uh, when we were doing the sixth grade math, there are 100 centimeters in a meter. A meter stick, if you have one to look at, or if you've ever seen one, has 100 numbers markings on it. Well, 99, it doesn't actually label 100. That's because it's labeling every centimeter. There's 100 centimeters in a meter. So when I multiply these together, and let's remember that centimeters cancel, I'm gonna have 7.5 meters over 0 0.001 times 100 is 0 0.1 seconds. So I know I moved 7.5 meters in one tenth of a second, but I'm asked how fast it's moving in meters per second, which means I actually have to do this division again. I have to make this a unit rate. So we just do 7.5 divided by 0 0.1, and we realize it is 7.5 meters per second, 75 meters per second. And last example here, 
the rate of one knot is one nautical mile per hour. One nautical mile is 1,852 meters. So what is the speed in meters per second of a ship that is traveling 20 knots? Okay, so we're told 20 knots. That's 20 nautical miles per hour. Okay, a knot. One knot is one nautical mile per hour. So 20 knots is 20 nautical miles in one hour. I'm asked for meters per second. Since I don't have meters or seconds, that's going to need two fractions to take care of. I'm going to change the distance first, as I have been the entire time. So we are going to convert nautical miles to meters. And in the problem, we're told that one nautical mile is 1,852 meters. So one nautical mile, 1,852 meters. We also have to change hours to seconds. So hours will have to go on top to cancel, seconds on the bottom. But we already know this, we figured it out before, there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. Nautical miles will cancel, hours will cancel. So when I multiply, I'm gonna have Let's see, 20 times 1852 is 37,040 meters. And in the denominator, we have 3,600 seconds. Of course, we're asked meters per second, so we do need to go one step further and make this a unit rate. So 37,040 divided by 3,600 is, oh, that's not pleasant. 10.28, the 8 is repeating meters per second. If you just put 10.28 here, I would mark it correct, as I would 10.29 for rounding. But 10.28 with the 8 repeating is the most exact answer you can give.